in the 1960s, 64 is when I started college, in the middle of the civil rights movement, and I realized I knew nothing about issues of race and social justice in my country, even though I'd been to a great high school and had a wonderful education. Uh, so that put me on a track to uh, become an activist, really, in the civil rights movement, because I realized how limited my knowledge was and how much I needed to grow. Uh, so I think my first uh, sort of experience with thinking about going into education was actually looking at the limitations of my own background. And then uh, I became a director of a nonprofit organization, uh, another highlight in my career, uh, which was really to develop multicultural materials for predominantly white schools and white educators. And this was back in the 1970s. Uh, because my question became really, how can we educate kids that are growing up in white America uh, who don't end up as ignorant as I was when I graduated from my high school? So I started developing a set of curriculums, teacher training strategies, really to, to educate white America about the realities of our diverse nation. Uh, and for 25 years, I ran that nonprofit organization. Uh, developed a training team that went across the country to Australia, Canada, and uh, became, uh, in a sense, a traveling itinerant teacher uh, and professional developer around issues of multicultural uh, diversity, social justice.